Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with one of my favorite days of the month, which is the Bargain Bead Box um, unboxing for our monthly subscription. This one came in a little late this month. I think they had a new shipping partner they were trying out and it just was a little slow. It doesn't matter to me, but I know a lot of you were having some issues. So if you were wondering why it came in a little bit later, that's why. Um, this month is Cozy Chrysanthemums. Your beads, is there anything cozier than the holiday season? Natural gemstones take center stage this month with a warm Thanksgiving inspired palette of gold, red, purple, and cream. Uh, genuine Mukite. <laughs> it is just crazy to me that these bead companies have the same color palettes and the same gemstones with, and that they don't coordinate because Sam's bead box this month is Mukite, even though I haven't released that, that one's Mukite as well. Um, fossilized coral, golden agate, yellow quartz, and matte golden hematite combined with sparkling crystals and high, high quality findings for a festive floral feel. We love the enamel, uh, uh, we love the enameled charms. So I haven't looked at this. I don't know if it looks like the other bead box I just mentioned, but I'm going to pop everything out. If you want to subscribe to Bargain Bead Box, check out the link in my description in this video. You'll save uh, $2 off your first box by using coupon code turquoise. But if you use that link, it's an affiliate link and it helps my channel. Um, also with Bargain Bead Box, they send out a um, coupon code to their subscribers to use in their sister store, Bead Box Bargains, every month for 30% off. So we get a nice organza bag. First thing I'm pulling out is this eight millimeter um, fossil coral round seven and a half inches. I don't know that I've ever gotten fossil coral from any bead box before. I love fossil coral. It's really pretty. Look at the, it's just gorgeous. I love the color palette. Beautifully neutral. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that Goldie is, is sniffing for food around me. Um, just love it. Gorgeous. Um, uh, is that five or six millimeter mukite? I think it's probably, I don't know, I'll have to see. Matte round beads, 15 inches. Uh, maybe five millimeter? They're beautiful, gorgeous. I really can't tell if they're five or six millimeter. Um, four millimeter crystal faceted bicone beads and lavender steel, 12 inches. This is, it. I mean, yes, it has some purple in it. It's, it kind of just looks like a cross between like dirty white, gray, and purple. But I will say that color does show up in Mukite. Um, what's this? 20 by 17 millimeter enameled chrysanthemum pendants to pieces. Well, that looks more like a sunflower, but I'm not mad because I love sunflowers. They're one of my favorite flowers, and these are so pretty. I want to make earrings with them, but I also don't don't usually wear dangly earrings, and I want a bracelet with them. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with those. Those are my favorite so far. Those are so cute, but so far I like, well, I like these things a lot. We know my th thoughts on bicones. Um, four by three faceted quartz rondelle beads uh, dyed six and a half inches lovely love this this is such a beautiful yellow I know it's dyed but it's so pretty and it goes so well with those charms I'm loving this box these colors are so pretty together though Lamukite is one of my favorite stones uh, approximately 33 millimeter um, Mukite and brass pendant that is pretty it looks like Mars Looks like a planet, doesn't it? I'm sure others got more colorful pieces, but I really like how played down it is. You can play it up by layering a charm over it, gluing something to it, or you could just have a pretty like moody piece. All right, gold-plated pewter wreath links, four pieces lead, nickel, and cadmium free. Oh, those are adorable. Wow, that is really gorgeous. That's perfect for holidays or fall. Oh. We'll probably make some earrings or something. I'm loving this box. Um, eight by six millimeter faceted glass rondelle beads in dark red, 15 and a half inches. These are beautiful. Very, very dark, rich red. Love that. 
Sorry if you're hearing background noise. Um, it's actually nice enough to have the windows open today. Um, it's not hot. <laughs> and uh, my neighbors think the same thing, so they have some music playing. Um, five by three plated hematite man-made flower rondelles in matte gold, seven and a half inches. Those are just super duper fun. They look a little tribal. I love, oh, this would be fun on, an, on a bracelet or something. Oh, I'm having so many ideas. I want to do a necklace. I want to do a bracelet. I want to do earrings. Ooh, a beautiful strand of mukite, eight millimeter, seven and a half inches. Stunning. I love, okay, so my favorite shades in the mukite are usually pink, yellow, and cream. And this strand has a little bit of all of it. So we've got pink on this one. We've got the yellow. Oh, I just love that bright yellow mukite. And some yummy cream. Mmm, so beautiful. Gold plated brass chrysanthemum link. Oh my goodness. I thought these are going to be ear wires for a second. Ah, that's so cool. And remind me, I think the, the flower for the birth flower for this month is chrysanthemum. I could be wrong. I could be really wrong. And this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I think it would be pretty like this, but I think we could bead it too. That would be really fun. That's gorgeous. Um, five by four millimeter brass curb chain lead nickel cadmium free in one meter. So this is pretty, but it's a, it's almost a little too bright if we're looking at it against, uh, well, it's not almost too bright. It is too bright and it doesn't match. If we're looking at it against the other components in the box. So these golds are not matching the other golds. I think that could have been done a little bit better. I know I just had those chrysanthemums and they don't match either. So this I would absolutely not use with this pro any project that I'm using these other components with. Um, let's see. Nickel free, eight, 13 by eight millimeter brass magnetic clasps. These are nice. Um, I typically don't use them because I'm kind of hard on my jewelry. I, I worry that it's gonna get tugged off or um, ripped off or something. So I usually don't use magnetic clasps. Sometimes you have to use the security chain with them. But these are cute and they actually like are the same size as some of these beads so you could use those um, on a really like delicate piece of jewelry or something that you want your clasp to blend into. And that's not saying for this box, like any magnetic clasps, I usually just don't use them. Six millimeter round, uh, I'm sorry, six millimeter crackle agate round beads dyed and heated in goldenrod, seven inches. This is pretty. Are these the same? They're not, well, they're very close. Yeah, they're very close to that same color, if not the same. And look, they're very close to that yellow in the mukite. So fantastic job color matching there. Sometimes it's really hard with dyed gemstones, so good job. And then we have nine millimeter half matte crystal faceted round beads in slate peacock six inches. Six inches. These are pretty. Um, they they kind of work with the more matte because if you're looking at this the color palette on this strand, it's more muted like these are. They're pretty together. That works. And then last but not least, we have. Uh, 15 by 13 millimeter enameled autumn wreath charms, lead, nickel, cadmium, free, two pieces. This is crazy. I could absolutely use the two bead boxes that I just filmed together. And I might do it, not in this video and not in the unboxing for that video, but maybe after. <laughs> Look how pretty those are. And they match the mukite. I, I don't know that they match the thought, like the vibe, because nothing in here screamed Christmas to me. But I mean, they're cute. Are these supposed to be harvest? Autumn wreath. Okay, well, when I see a wreath that looks like that, that reminds me of Christmas, not autumn, but they're cute. I think they're adorable, nicely enameled. I'm pleasantly surprised with this box. My favorites are this strand, um, these charms, the sunflower charms, even though they say chrysanthemum and they're for sure sunflowers, um, the fossil coral, the yeah, other okay. everything. I like everything except for maybe the chain and the but it's not that I hate them. They're just not my favorites. So let me take a look and we will make a project. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> there are beads all over my mat already. And that's because I just tried 
two different bracelet designs with different stringing materials and both of them failed epically. I'm not going to submit you to or subject you to the awfulness that was those videos, but we're going to be making um, a wrap bracelet using the beads you see. I didn't want to do um, a moo kite again because I just did a moo kite bracelet or necklace using Sam's bead box last month. Sorry this video is late. I got this box very late last month um, and just didn't have time to work on a video with it until now um, other than the unboxing. And I know you like seeing videos where I use the things from boxes. So it's a little late. We're going to be using these beads today, the fossil coral, some of the dyed beads, this cute little sunflower charm, this little um, sunflower or flower toggle clasp that I got out of my um, stash. And then I'm just going to use some metallic soft flex in antique brass. And um, I was going to do a whole knotted bracelet um, but you know what? I'm going to try knotting with the soft flex because they say you can. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I am going to go ahead and we might use these later. I'm not sure if we're just going to crimp with them, but I want to do a double wrap on my wrist. Um, so I'm going to cut a piece that's probably double what I need just because I'm always paranoid that I won't have enough wrap or, or wire or cord. I'm going to start with um, actually I'm going to crimp onto this real quick. I'm going to use a very heavy gauge um, jump ring because I eventually want to hang my charm from it. I'll put on my crimp. Come through the jump ring and then back through the crimp. And then we're making sure that we're not crossing the wires here, putting that in the largest valley here of our pliers and squish. Turn 90 degrees, squish again, and I'll squish one more time. And I am just going to grab the end of my wire and I'm gonna start with two of these little yellow beads. those down. I'm going to snip the wire here because I want to knot right up against those beads. Take my wire. Uh, and I am knotting pliers somewhere. These are my knotting pliers. I'm just going to come in right next to that bead but through that loop. Hold on to my wire and pull. We'll see if this works. And if it doesn't work, I'm quitting. <laughs> I might need to snip that wire a little bit more. Well, we didn't get it right up against those beads, but we're probably going to face a learning curve here because I haven't done this before. All right, next I'm going to go with one of these yellows. And one of these.
Okay, so that one I got up a little bit closer to the bead. And these are large hole beads, so I can't really put those next to the knots. Some strong wire man this is kind of cool I'm liking this uh, other than this part right here that I messed up but I like I like this and you know what I can do I can just put another charm there or a bead a knot cover or bead cover print crimp I'm gonna put a crimp cover there um, so I'm just gonna keep going I'm, I don't want to bore you with me knotting this entire video Okay, so I really, really like this. Now, if you're not too sure about knotting wire, which I would probably only do this with saw flex, um, then totally just string it like you normally would. This is actually long enough to be a necklace. I did um, enough to do three wraps around my wrist, but I just went randomly. I did not really choose a specific pattern. Um, sometimes I put a bunch of metal together. Sometimes I put a bunch of the fossil coral together. Sometimes a bunch of the jade or whatever this was. Uh, I just had fun with it and I was listening to music while I was nodding and it came out super cute. Very rustic. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I need to put one more bead on here because I'm going to um, just do a, a crimp at the end. I'm not going to have it knotted at the end. I am going to crimp this end right onto my toggle clasp. There's no need for a jump ring on this end. So I'm going to put my crimp on, my toggle, come back through, and come down through this bead. I just like how it looks. Um, other than cutting the, the wire off right at the, the crimp, I never like doing that. And then I'm just gonna pull. And it doesn't matter if I do it loosey-goosey or not because this is knotted, it's it's already articulated. It's not going to crimp in a straight line like a regular strung necklace would. Come in here. You could flat crimp this if you want, but I'm gonna do a folded crimp like normal. Squish, turn 90 degrees. Squish again. Oh, we need to get in there a little bit better. Squish again. There we go. I'll snip this and then I'm just going to add on my little um, charm on this side. So cute. Oh, I love that. It looks, it's just a perfect match. It's just so great. I loved this box this month. And let me show you, this is also a necklace. So if I wore this as a necklace, I would probably wear the um, charm and the clasp in the front because I want to be able to see that. But let me just loop this on my wrist real quick. This is what it looks like on my wrist. Super cute. I can wear that on the top or the bottom. Very rustic, very earthy. And um, I love it. Fall, perfect for fall and for summer, I think. So let me know what you think. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, and if you want to save $2 off your first box with Bargain Bee Box, if you're thinking about subscribing, use coupon code TURQUOISE at the affiliate link in the description of this video. That helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super duper cute. Bye-bye.